All right, I am going to walk through how to create a Google form that will connect to a Google Sheet so that you can keep track of your emails and build your list uh, with if you don't have an Action Network account. So the easiest way to start is from Google and you can go to the Google Apps palette up in the corner here and go down to Forms. You'll start a new blank form and you can title it um, appropriately, maybe group your group name, email, sign up. And then if you just click up in this top left corner, that will change the file name to match the name of your form. So obviously you will want to collect people's name and you can separate it into first and last for different fields if you'd like, or the same email, and you can go ahead and add address and phone number as well. But for the sake of the demo, I'm just gonna do name and email. So this automatically saves, and then you can go to responses, link to sheets. And if you don't already have a spreadsheet, you can choose create a new spreadsheet. So it just created a new spreadsheet with the two fields that I created on the form. Again, you're gonna to want to add address, possibly phone number, maybe zip code. And I'm gonna go back to the form just to show you that when somebody fills out this form, it will automatically update. You can also go ahead, let's see, I'm gonna put Alexis's name here. Um, you can also go ahead and manually add information into the spreadsheet. Um, and what will happen is as more form entries are added, it will just move down these manual entry fields so that it can timestamp. So, that's it. Now you have a form oops, that is linked to your spreadsheet. You can view the responses here or again, go and view it in your sheet. Now, if you want to go ahead and collect email signups at a tabling event or um, any in-person event, you're going to want to have a QR code so that people can scan it on their phones and sign up right then and there instead of on paper. So what we'll do is go to bit.ly. I'm going to just copy this form link at the top from the top bar. And then you're going to go to bit.ly.com and I'm just going to log out to show you what it looks like when you're not signed in. If you don't already have an account, you'll want to sign up for free. I'm going to go ahead and log in with my Google account. And then in the top left corner, you can choose create new QR code. And I think it already pasted the link in for me. I'm just entering it quickly. Again, you can title it. I would highly recommend giving it a title. You're the only one that will see this. If you want to customize the back half, maybe um, your group name, email, or just sign up. And then I'm just going to hit enter, oops, or Q create QR code in the top right corner. And there's my code. So I can just click download. And you'll see that the link is here. You can also copy that link if you want to send it out in an email. And that's it.